Hey, it's Alex with Paragon Performance. Today we're gonna to be installing the Varus rear diffuser for the C8 Corvette. What's this gonna do for you? Not only does it look good, it's gonna improve aerodynamic efficiency and add 29 pounds of downforce at 100 miles an hour. Let's get to it. All right, for this install, you're gonna need a 3 8 ratchet, a half inch drive breaker bar, a quarter inch ratchet, a panel pry tool, a seven millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter socket, a T15 Torx, a quarter inch drive extension, a 3 8 drive extension, a 10 millimeter wrench, four millimeter Allen wrench, a two millimeter Allen wrench and a 22 millimeter socket. The need to raise and support the vehicle is you'll need to remove the rear wheels. All right, so we'll, we'll start here by removing the tire so we can access the inner fender liner. Take the tire off, set her somewhere safe. All right, so we're gonna start by removing the three seven millimeter screws from the underside for the fender liner. And we're going to remove this mud flap. Use a plastic pry tool, carefully pry in there, pop all four clips out. And you're gonna use your T15, you're gonna remove these two screws. You're gonna to need to do this for both sides. All right, so we're gonna start by removing these 10 seven millimeter screws around the outside of this one panel here. And you're gonna to wanna to keep track of these screws as we will need to reuse these all later. Got one plastic clip here you're gonna need to undo using your plastic panel removing tool. And then that panel comes off. We're gonna remove these four T15 screws. And using your panel panel tool again, we're gonna pull these two plastic clips out here and here. Be careful with these as you will reuse these. And pull the fender liner forward and then you can kind of slide that out from under the bumper and you can do the same with the other side. And that is out. So we're gonna remove the two 13 millimeter bolts that hold the hanger for the exhaust. Do them one side at a time as you install the brackets. You'll need to remove the bolts completely. So you're going to install the bracket, it goes above the hanger, and then reinstall the bolts. And we just wanna hand tighten these so we'll have to fine tune the adjustment of this bracket just so they're snug, but you can still move the bracket around. I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the other side. And the bracket goes up above. Okay, so we're gonna install the panel. The two outer fins of the panel will go above the aluminum plate on the underside of the engine, just like so. And then the two plastic clips that I told you earlier to keep, those will actually go into those holes. Don't click them in place, it's just locating the panel for us. 
we'll click them into place fully later. You will need two of the longer Allen bolts, as well as two nuts and four of the washers, as we are going to attach this to the brackets. We're gonna be aligning these two holes with the holes in the brackets. We're gonna take the longer Allen and one of the washers and up through the diffuser and the bracket. And then you can reach in from over here and put a washer and a nut on it. Don't thread it all the way down on, just start it. And then do the same for the other side. Take two more of the longer bolts and go ahead and put those in through the brackets. And again, we're just starting these. We're not tightening any of them down yet. Okay, so now to hold it into place for you. And then next you're gonna take, now that you've got those started, and just adjust those brackets that we installed just to kind of center them in the holes a little bit. And then we'll go and tighten them down, adjust them to make sure they're not touching the rear bumper. And we'll go back in here and then tighten down those exhaust hanger brackets. And all those seven millimeter screws that you'd taken out earlier will all go back into factory holes. Start all of them first. Now that your screws are in, just make sure this is centered within, within the car. Use some body points and stuff like that to just make sure it's centered. And then you're gonna take your four millimeter Allen wrench and a 10 millimeter wrench, and you'll be able to reach up in here and we're just gonna tighten down these rear uh, bracket mounts. Now we're gonna tighten all the seven millimeter bolts up on the under panel. We can go ahead and push those clips in to retain those, those corners in place. All right, now we're gonna prep these side panels for installation. They are specific as far as which side they go to. This longer, piece here actually goes towards the back of the car. This is the passenger side one. In your hardware kit, you're gonna have eight U-nuts. You'll have four smaller ones and four bigger ones. You're gonna need two of each size per side. We're gonna start with the bigger ones. They're gonna go on the front side, which would be the side with the fender liner. And then you're gonna install them with the threaded side up over the Plate, just like so. And then these smaller ones are going to go on the back side with the same orientation. This is where the bumper will actually attach to this plate. And then they'll clip into place and they'll stay there for you. All right, so taking that bracket that we just put those U clips on. We're going to install it. It's gonna go like so, but it needs to go above the bumper and above the rear fender liner. So we're gonna pull the fender liner out of the way. You can kind of rotate it up in there and then be able to just kind of set it in on top of the bumper. And you're gonna grab your add-on fin that's gonna go onto here. It'll basically go just like this. And then you're gonna put five bolts, nuts, washers through here. And these are gonna be the shorter four millimeter hex headed bolts. Easy way. Start with the back one, line everything up, and then install the nut finger tight, and just go to the front side and do the same thing. Just fish it through there, and that way it holds it in place and makes it easier for the other bolts to line up. So by leaving the fender liner loose, that now makes it easier to get your hand in here to the back side to be able to install that washer nut on the other three. And then we're gonna just go in and, and tighten all of these down. These have a little bit of movement to them, so you can kind of position them however. Just use your 10 millimeter wrench and your Allen wrench. 
and basically just tighten them down into place. This is still possible with an OEM exhaust on the car as well. It's just a little bit, a little more tighter fit inside here doing this. I'll reinstall the fender liner screws. And then reinstall your little mud flat. You have four of these small two millimeter headed Allen screws. These are gonna go in from the bumper into those plates. And I have to push up on them just to, on the bumper just a little bit to get them to start. Leave it loose for right now. And we're gonna need two more of the small four millimeter headed ones to hold the fender liner to the plate. and then just go ahead and tighten them all down. And there you have it, simple install. Get that diffuser put on there. Don't forget to put your wheels back on. You're ready to have some fun on the track. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you next time. Good? Hi. Hey, it's Alex with Paragon Performance.